Before attempting any type of maintenance on your brush banded chipper, disengage the clutch, turn off the engine, wait for the disc or drum to come to a complete stop, install the disc or drum lock pin, disconnect the battery, and make sure the ignition key is in your possession. If your banded chipper is not feeding properly, has excessive vibration, or is creating poor chip quality, then the knives may need resharpened or replaced. Dull or severely damaged knives will significantly reduce the performance of your brush banded chipper. Dull or damaged knives will waste engine horsepower, cause bad chip quality, strain other components on the chipper, cause excessive vibration, and cause your operation to lose time and money. The contents within this section will explain how to check the knives to make sure that they are in proper operating condition. Only Bandit knives and hardware are recommended for use in your Bandit chipper. Only then can you be assured of a quality product that fits and performs the best to its standards of excellence that is expected from a Bandit chipper. change knives before we start the engine, we want to drop the end feed pan. Visually inspect the end feed hopper for foreign material. And before we start the engine up to raise our top yoke to access our, our anvil, what we want to do is release the Easy applying spring tension. We want to do that on both sides of the oak. That way we'll have we won't have any spring tension on the yoke lock pin when it's in the raised position. I'm just moving them up here for storage so I don't lose them. Now if your machine is equipped with auto feed, we'll start our engine up, shut our auto feed off, that way we can raise our top yoke without going to full engine RPM. Lift it up, the top it, install your yoke lock pin. And it's always nice to have an auxiliary anchor point as far as to support that top yoke. Now to access our chipper knives, we make sure we pull the keys out of the ignition of the, of the engine to access our hood pin padlock key, which should be on the same ring, and remove the padlock. Now that we've opened up the, the hood to get into our, to our drum area to check the knives, we want to rotate the, the drum inspect the welds all around the pocket area anytime we get in here to service the knives. You want to look at the make sure there's no cracks in these areas.
And inspecting the knives, these knives here seem to be in, in good condition. Um, it has a few, few little nicks right here, which Bandit offers a knife saver kit that you can use to dress this up and, and take care of that and still still run these knives without without changing them. To use the knife saver we want to make sure that this disc or drum is, is locked in to a positive lock which is located on the side of the drum housing which you have a pin that, that goes through the lock tube gets there inserted to the side of the, the drum which will keep that from turning. When you get a knife saver kit you get a pair of gloves. Inspecting the knives, we can look at the back side of this knife here and see that it's that it's still new. So that knife is flippable. So when the cutting edge right here gets gets dull, we can just take and invert that knife in the pocket and use the other side of the knife. When flipping a set of knives, you want to turn the knife over and clean off all the debris on the bottom edge of the knife to ensure that the knife sits flat in the pocket. out of the pocket area on the drum. 